You've probably seen the headlines this past week stating 16 billion passwords were leaked online. Now, there's definitely some truth, a lot of truth to it, but there's a lot of different pieces, some context around it. So, yes, there were 16 billion, over two per person on Earth, credentials that were leaked this past week. Now, it's not a new breach per se, although much of the data in it is of recent breaches, and it contains a bunch of of credentials from some of the most popular social networks out there, Facebook, Google, GitHub, many others, Apple. Now, what it seems to be is sort of this accumulation of about 30 different breaches or 30 different databases of credentials. Someone decided to put them all together in a nice columned situation where... Uh, it's accessible, or at least it was accessible for a little while. Researchers came upon it. It was originally like 100, I don't know, 116 million, 168 million, something like that. And as they dug deeper, uh, they found the the massive load of data that's out there. It's really a blueprint for any criminal out there to then kind of navigate around, use your credentials, all taken from info stealers. Over these uh, last bunch of data breaches, they're calling it kind of the best of, or uh, or like I like to say, if you remember, the KTEL of credential leaks. So obviously, you may want to change your passwords, like many folks are suggesting. Use multi-factor or use pass keys, uh, or what a lot of a lot of folks are suggesting. Obviously, keep an eye on your stuff. I always say lock down your credit. Mine's been locked down for years. And obviously, if you're an organization, a uh, defense and observability and defense platform can really help you keep an eye on the mischief that may be coming your way. So definitely keep an eye out for phishing attacks. Don't click links you don't know. Use multi-factor and just be safe out there. Like and sub.